These are all the buttons inside your Toyota Tacoma, yet most people have no idea what they do. And in today's video, we're gonna solve that. Now, if you have no idea what these buttons do, don't feel bad. Most people who buy these vehicles have no idea. Most people who sell these vehicles have no idea, including myself. I just did like two hours of research before coming to shoot this video. So let's start on this side of the vehicle and then we'll work our way over. So this one right here is my favorite one to go over because most of the time people have no idea what it actually does. First impressions, it looks like you're supposed to click it and it'll turn off traction, but that's where you're wrong. You actually have to press and hold this button to completely turn traction control off. If you don't do that, then you turn on this thing called an auto LSD and that is not what you want when you're trying to lose traction. And moving just below that, we have what is known in the Toyota Tacoma community as the jellyfish launcher because it does resemble a jellyfish i gotta admit all this button does is power this light right here but if you have the bed light kit then it'll also power the bed light it's really cool that toyota wired it all up to work seamlessly so you can have it off not sure why you would do that you can have it on at all times or you can just leave it on auto auto is in the middle pretty much whenever you open your doors it'll turn on automatically. And to the right of that, now you have the jellyfish on its side. For that, turn on your high beams, and whenever it sees oncoming traffic, it'll actually just shut the high beams off. Instead of you having to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. This is extremely useful on back roads. When you're on a back road going 45 miles an hour, there's a turn coming up and there's a car coming, I can't do everything and get us around that curve successfully. So this is a great safety feature added from Toyota. This is the window lock. I think we've all had the passenger who is super annoying with the windows. So with the click of a button, they can no longer do that. Very nice, very useful. I pretty much have it on at all times. And right above that, you have the control to move your side view mirrors around. It's very simple, turn it to whatever side you wanna adjust and then rotate as you need. On to the steering wheel. In my opinion, this is one of the nicest steering wheel Toyota has to offer. So on the left side, you got the volume up, volume down. You can also skip a song or go back a song by either clicking up or clicking down. Right underneath it, the little dude that's yelling, that is actually pretty cool. You can actually talk to your Toyota Tacoma. Think of it as your Google Assistant or your Siri on iPhone. Very nice feature, keeps your hands on the steering wheel and allows you to get stuff done with your voice. Right underneath that, this one I did not know what it actually did. When you click on it, first it paused my music. The second click though, changed it from Apple CarPlay to AM, then to FM, then to Cyrus XM. I'm not sure if it was in that exact order, but you get what I'm saying. Then it loops all the way back to Apple CarPlay and then it just plays your music again. But also, if you're on a phone, it'll actually hold your phone call. On the right side of the steering wheel, this is for directly in front of you. So you can go through your menu, go through all the features that you have there, up, down, left, right, whatever you need to do. Moving a little bit below that, this button, I actually had no idea what it did, but it's actually pretty cool. I like to check my tire pressure. Go to the tire pressure screen. I'm going to hold and press this button and it'll set it as its main option. Whenever I click that button, it'll go back to whatever the default is. If you check something constantly, I would definitely recommend this instead of having to scroll left and right, up and down. Set it up before the trip and you're A-OK. -okay. I usually do this on long road trips or if I'm just going to Walmart. So this first button is for radar cruise control. So you can set it up to have one car, two car, three car lengths in front of you. I would recommend option number two. Number one is a little bit touchy and the bottom one is lane departure. Now this one is very nice. I would advise not to have it on its high sensitivity because if you do, then that means it's going to beep at you for even thinking about crossing the line. Have it probably on the lowest to medium setting and you'll be okay. So this one, a lot of people do not know how to use and it's the cruise control. I use this not that much, but I did before. I really like it on my Toyota Corolla, but on my Toyota Tacoma, it's not as good as the truck starts to panic going up and down in gears. All you have to do once you're at your desired speed is click the button and then pull down. It'll keep you at that speed no matter what, if you're going uphill, downhill, and it actually does it pretty well. And a little bit of a bonus feature, if you wanna speed up or slow down, just hold the lever either down or up. Also on the dash, you got this little stick that sticks out. I had no idea, mind you, I've owned four of these trucks. So you can look at your odometer, you can change your trips, A and B, and then you have a blank one, but also you can change the brightness on your screen, which is very nice, especially when you're driving at night and you just wanna turn it down. It lets you have more focus on the road instead of your eyes focusing on the bright, bright lights. And then you also have the ECT button. This one is probably the most controversial button. I honestly don't even feel like giving you the real answer because some people think that it's a turbo. Some people think that it makes your truck go way faster. Some people even go to say that it turns it into a race car. 
Pretty much what this does is it adjusts the shift points. It allows you to reach higher RPMs before switching into the next gear. Most people use this when they're towing or when they're racing their Toyota Tacomas. And if this video helped you at all, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.